talk title. (laughs) 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 Thank you. Um, I would like to start by saying that I thought it was funny that the, everyone had nice, cute um, names for their talks, while mine ended up not being so clean. I promise I didn't mean it to be that way. And maybe. Um, <laughs> when I, so to be clear, when I talk about the hard white things, I am talking about this. And when I am talking about the soft pink things, that's what I am talking about. <laughs> So, people often look at the marks that are left um, on the hard white things and rocks from animals and human remains. Then they suppose use and force from these soft pink things. And then finally, they attempt to explain what the animal or human did when it was not dead. Like you see in the picture above right, where the dead old human from a long past is thought to be knocking rocks together from the marks found on the remains from their hands and fingers. People also suppose how present old humans die by matching the marks on the hard white things with a sick type often tied to the age of the old human. (coughs) So today, I will focus on the use and force supposed by the soft pink things, leaving the marks found on the hard white things. So first, we decided to look at the relationship between the shoulder soft pink things and their marks on the hard white things of the arm with the help of small white animals. <laughs> That's a long okay. The small white animals were found in three different groups. There was a one group that climbed, one group that ran, and there was a control group that kind of just sat there and did nothing. <laughs> we also looked at human hands, especially the first and the last fingers, since these are important for gripping, holding, and knocking rocks by dead people from the long past. For both the small animals and the human groups, we looked at the outside and the inside of the soft pink things and the hard white things. So when we looked at the small white animals, we saw different expressions between groups. So if you look at this computer picture, you see red spots. The red spots are the runners. The green spots are the controls, the one that did nothing. And the blue spots, you have the climbers. So the more running or the more climbing a small white animal did, the more their shoulder soft pink things change in one direction or in the other. But even with that clear relationship between the soft pink things and the different group types, when we looked at the expected relationship between the soft pink things and the marks, ooh, and the marks on the hard white things, we found none. <laughs> so as you can see here in this next computer picture, marks on the hard white things do not change with the soft pink things. You just see a bunch of spots all together everywhere. (laughs) So no relationship was found in both the small white animals and in the human groups. So finally, when looking inside the hard white things, what we found was not simple. So most of the time, we found no relationship between group types, changes in soft pink things, and the inside forms of the hard white things. There were some weird finds inside the hard white things and changes in the soft pink things that can be seen in the bottom computer picture. But since there were only a couple of these, the relationship here still isn't clear and still a little bit weird. So we as a team 
continue to say that there is no clear relationship between different group types like running and climbing, the use of soft pink things, and the marks they leave on the hard white things. The marks found on the hard white things should not be used to suppose what people and animals did when they were not dead. Later, we would like to continue to look at this relationship through different age groups, different food types, different animal groups, and continue to look more inside the soft pink things and the hard white things. Thank you very much for listening and everyone who helped with this thing. Um, 